Okay, kettlebells. I was asked about Holy Trinity training program for kettlebell if you've never picked one up before and you don't know what to do with one. Um, for a martial artist, there is two primary movements that we're interested in. One is the kettlebell swing, the other is the Turkish get-up. So just very quickly, I'm just going to demonstrate a swing. It's a hip hinge, so it's about going from this plank position to here. So I'm driving hip forward, hip back. Works the entire core, bum, upper legs, absolutely fantastic movement. Add a double exhalation, so I go exhale here, exhale at the top. In doing that, then I'm adding a cardiovascular element to it. So from here, catch the bell, chin up, I'm going to throw it back. Okay, there's loads of different ways that we can train the, uh, the swing. We'll have a look at that in just a moment. The next movement then is a Turkish get up. So from here, knee down to the floor, hand down, slide foot through, sit your butt down, down onto your elbow, down onto your shoulder, down onto your back, okay? So we'll start the movement from here, but that's the downward portion. So roll over, catch the bell, cuddle it to your chest, roll back. Two hands to set up, from here, Rolling to the shoulder, onto the elbow, onto the hand, plant the foot, lift from here, onto the knee, square up, stand up, and then reverse as we did before. So knee, hand, sit, elbow, shoulder, back. What you want to be able to do is move into each position, stay there as long as you need to. So it should be very broken, it's not flowy at all. Get into the position, stabilize. Get into the position, stabilize. Okay? Um, with the swing, few ways I have to get good with the swing. You basically look at to make sure that you're not arching your back, that it's the hip that's moving. So the first one, face the wall squats. Get in nice and close to the wall, sit down, sit up. If you're arching your back, you're gonna scrape your face off the wall. So it'll teach you to not arch back. Second version, we'll just get a dowel here. So from here, catch the stick, catch, catch, knuckles into the lower back, catch, thumb into the neck, three points of contact, head between the shoulder blades, bum. From here, you should be able to sit and stand, maintaining those three points of contact. In maintaining those points of contact, once again, we're making sure that the spine is kept and the spine isn't arcing in the middle. All right, last one. Last one that we use to develop the swing is we get a jiu-jitsu belt, wrap the belt through, okay? Catch, so that there's enough that it will wobble. Now from here, I should be able to swing, and there shouldn't be any slack in the rope. So if it does that, I'm not doing it right, okay? And what that does is it makes sure that you're not just using your arm, that you're actually using the hip to drive. So as I say, there are hundreds of movements you can do with a kettlebell, but for a beginner, for a martial artist, get good at your swings, get good at your get-ups, everything else will come after, okay? So there's loads of things we can play with when you're cleans, okay, clean, Press, okay, clean and jerk, all right, snatch, okay, squats, um, deadlift, one, sorry, one leg deadlift, all right, kettlebells are great fun, millions of things you can do with it, but from a martial artist point of view, swings and Turkish get-ups, Jobs are good. Cheers, guys.